everybody, this is going to be a first impression video and this is going to be the Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 and I think my color is NC25 but um, I, I ordered off the Mac Pro Store so that's what my color have been on everything else. So I'm going to give you my first impression of it. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have my eyes done and my um, eyebrows done but um, you might hear a little bit of background noise and things like that because my family's home and we're cooking and doing all that fun stuff. So I thought I'd do a first impression video for you. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit out here. Now, I heard this was amazing. Um, I have never tried this one. This will be my very first time trying this one. I've tried uh, the Pro Longwear, the Moisturizing Mineral one, everything else but this. Okay. So I applied a little bit on my brush and I'm going to put it on and it looks like it is my color. Yep, it matches my face perfect. Sorry about the lighting, it is daytime. Or not daytime, <laughs> nighttime. So I have to use that lighting. I'm going to do one side of my face and then I'm going to do the other side. So right now I'm doing half. So far, it looks like it has pretty good coverage. This is just a little bit that I've used. So it has a little bit of coverage, or I mean, sorry, it has a lot of coverage, and I only used a little bit. Sorry if I'm stumbling around for my braces. I'm having from the rubber bands on this side, it's like cutting on the inside of my gums. It's so annoying. Anyways. Let me see if I can tilt my camera there. And I'm going to zoom in so you can kind of see the coverage of this. Okay. There we go. I think that's good right there. Okay, see, this is a side not covered. This is a side covered. So, so far I'd say it's like a medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's a medium to full, but I would say it's definitely buildable. So you can build it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side of my face. And just take a little bit out. And I think with this you don't really need much. So that's how much I put on my hand. Let's see how this does. Okay. Alright. I think I'm going to like this stuff actually. I think I am. I think I am. That little bit that I just put on it looks like it did it for me. I have a little breakouts because Tom is coming to visit. So, of course, I have breakouts right now. Okay, so, um, as I said before, this is a medium coverage. Um, it is buildable, so you can build it up. Um, I, it, this, this matches me perfect. Like, seriously, it matches me perfect. So this is a very good color for me. Um, the way, I, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything, so that's nice. I do feel like I'm gonna need some powder because as you can see here, it's really shiny. So I'm, I feel like I'm gonna need, you know, of course to do powder and things like that, which obviously you do that anyways. So um, yeah, so far so good, so far I like it. Um, I will let you know how I feel about it. Um, you know, later if I feel like it wears good. So, I will just let you know. But so far, so good. It, you know, it feels like I'm not really wearing anything right now. So, it's very lightweight, which is nice. It doesn't feel like, you know, some foundations and stuff when you put them on after, you know, a couple minutes. It feels like you're wearing a little bit of a mask. So, there's no mask feeling, which is nice. And um, I like the way it blended into my skin, actually. So, it looks really natural. And this is supposed to, um, you know, mute out all your imperfections. Pimples, it's supposed to blur all of that out. So you have, you know, it looks like your skin is just natural and it's your own skin. So, so far, so good. So I will let you know how I feel about it later. I will be using it in some tutorials. So um, just look for those videos. Okay, well, if you guys have any comments or questions about the MAC Studio Fluid SPF Broad Spectrum, um, just leave all the comments and everything below. Okay, I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, 
go everybody okay I already did my demo and um, everything my first impression for the Mac Studio fix fluid now I used to a long long time ago wear the powder so um, I've heard a lot of great things about this so I wanted to try it so actually this is what I have on today and I actually really like it like I had it on for not that long yesterday I just did the demo did the video um, had it on wore it around a little bit um, and I love the way it felt um, I like the way it covers so I'm actually wearing it today and as you can see my skin looks flawless and well except for that but can't help it monthly time you know that always happens get a little zit here and there but anyways um but yeah so this is a close-up of my face and it actually does make my skin look flawless and that's what I've been told that it did so I was really curious about it now I have used the prolonged wear and to be honest with you no matter how I use this it seems to separate always in my nose area cannot stand that and so the mineralized one, I've been using that one, and that one's really dewy. It's got a very dewy finish, and it's very nice. Um, no separation problems or anything in my nose, so um, this one's not a bad one, but I'll be giving you more, you know, review on that later. But yeah, this one, to be honest with you, I love the way it wears and everything. I just don't like how it separates, and I've tried it with... A primer which just has a built-in primer in it so you're not supposed to use a primer but it was separating so I was trying different ways to try it and it just didn't work out for me so so far I am loving this studio fix fluid love the way it's making my skin look my skin does look flawless it does have a medium coverage when it first goes on it seems like it has a little bit of dewiness but I'm also t-zone oily combo skin so um, I just added a little bit of my powder, my favorite powder, my Holy Grail powder is actually the Too Faced, the Too Faced uh, powder, which is the amazing face powder. That's my Holy Grail, and I used it with that, and I'm absolutely loving it so far. So, all right, guys. Well, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And yeah, I didn't really like my eye makeup in the other video, but it's not horrible. It's just not. It was not great. But, um, I like my makeup today. It looks very pretty. Use the Stila palette. That's what I used. And, um, I did the, uh, what is it called? Black bean on my eye. And then I used this color here. I should have all this stuff prepared for you guys. But it is what it is. Where is it? Use my red carpet. I love the burgundy in this. This is what I actually have over the black bean all over my lid. And then I have this color as my crease color. And, you know, all that good stuff. But okay guys, see you later. Comments, questions, you know where to go.